Every stadium will have a scoreboard, although they do look different from place to place. Basketball is played in 10 minute quarters and the clock runs down, as you can see here. The scoreboard will also have an area to indicate the score, which is at the bottom on this scoreboard, and to indicate the number of team fouls. The controller boxes vary widely and you should speak to someone at the local association to find out how to use theirs. The start of the game, the clock starts once the ball is tapped. The referee signals this by chopping their arm down. When there's a score, it goes up on the scoreboard. Hopefully in the game of basketball you're watching, someone will score. When they do, the umpire will signal how many points need to go up, that was a two point shot, and the clock keeps running. Here is a three point shot, again the clock keeps running and three points go up on the scoreboard. There the referee signals three points made. Many times during the game the ball will need to be thrown in from the sideline. The clock starts once the ball is in the control of someone on the court. Here we see the clock starts once the yellow player has the ball. It stops when the violation is called. The situation is a little different on free throws. At various times during the game, the umpire will award foul shots or free throws to a player. They've called a foul so the clock stops. The clock starts once someone on court has touched the ball. Here the player is taking one shot and makes it. The clock still does not start. Once the ball is thrown in, then the clock starts. Violations happen quite commonly in a game of basketball. You'll see here the umpire blew their whistle. The clock stops. In many local competition games, they have their own timing rules, so check to make sure the rules we're talking about here are the fully timed rules. As the ball is thrown in, the clock starts when the ball is touched. Here we'll see yellow throw the ball in. At the end of the quarter, there will sometimes be dispute as to whether the shot was taken before or after the clock stopped. So you should be aware of how much time is left on the clock. Here we see the umpire signal the end of the quarter. In most stadiums there'll be a, a one or two minute break between quarters and this is put up on the clock. How the actual controller works for the particular scoreboards at your stadium may differ so you'll just need to ask someone how do I reset the time down to two minutes. Team fouls are also reset back to zero at the end of each quarter and timeouts are reset at the start of the second half. A new quarter starts with the throw in and the clock starts once the ball is touched in court. See on the scoreboard here it now shows we're in the second period of the game.